Wagwan family, welcome back to another great episode of Mantica Babies Jamaican Cuisine. Today we are dealing with one of my all time favorite dishes. You know what it is? Some stew peas. But not just any stew peas. We are dealing with it without Mr. Swine. We are dealing with it with some smoked turkey neck and some nice sliced beef in it. You see me? Straight. So, you really enjoy this one. It will kind of open up your mind on how to do stew peas for those who don't really eat the pork and all them things. There, you see me? So, just stay tuned and join me for another wonderful episode. Trust me, I enjoy that one. Straight. So, right here we have about four pounds of turkey neck. Well, a mixture of turkey neck and uh, uh, smoked turkey tail. Me personally kind of like this meat because it, it have a nice, uh, I don't know, nice flavor. It have the, you have the meat and then you have the little, little jelly pieces on it all, man. It's so good. You really enjoy. You don't really have to put this in if you don't want. But, you know, for me personally, this stuff is bomb. And then you have the, um, the smoked turkey neck. You know, into, into you know, your, your size is all you really want. You know what I mean? Mine are really cut too small because we don't want them kind of mash up too much. Because we'll pressure cook this. So, you know. We have about four pounds of that. We have about uh, one pound of um, light kidney bean, 16 ounces. We have about half of an onion right here. We have about two tablespoons of allspice. We have a little piece of um, thyme. We have two cloves of uh, garlic, kind of um, pressed. You know what I mean? And then we have uh, two pieces of um, green onion, otherwise known as skillet. So this is how we're going to kind of start it off, just for the pressure cooking side of it. So we'll put all this in, and then we'll kind of pressure cook this for about, uh, about 50 minutes to an hour. Make sure it's said well pressured, then we'll pull the top, and then we'll, you know, kind of finish it off, you know, with some other extra things. So right now when we get this stuff to me, so right, the first thing we normally put in is my uh, kidney bean. We got that in first, and then we have a put in with uh, smoked turkey. And I tell you, man, every time I make this, I have to make a good amount because it's good the first day, but when it sit on and you eat it the next day, that leftover, man, I tell you, it's sweet. So we have a turkey inside here. Now we have a poutine with onion. I'll move this around a little bit. We have a allspice. No really matter what order you put this in a still, except for the piece. Cause I like the piece on the bottom, cause that are the most hardest uh, thing for really kind of cook. So you kind of keep that low, so you can get you know get all the, 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 the pressure you need for cook. We put in a green onion, scallion, and then a garlic, right? And what we are going to add about, probably about four cup of water to this. Let me see how four cup of green for us. Really want to make the water kind of come right a little bit above the top. Another thing again, you're not going to put any type of salt in this when you're pressure cooking it. The smoked turkey itself have a lot of salt. Just enough for you know really want you know but really add a lot of a, a, a salt additional to this, right? So it look like four cups now we really do it right now. So I have to probably put maybe another tree. You see tree is a lot of uh, turkey. You want the water to come just a little bit above. So now get about uh, probably another two to three cups of water to add on this and then we are lock him down straight. Alright, so we add about another three cups of water to this thing. So this is how it looks. So the water just barely above the meat. You have one piece of meat kind of sticking up, but that's fine. You don't really want no more water on this. Right? So everything kind of spread out beautifully. So now we have to move our over to the stove and see if we can set it on medium high heat in about an hour. stove going and we have to put on the top on our pressure cooker we 
I'm going to add the top on, you know. Set it and forget it for about an hour. Alright? Make that go on pressure. And then we'll, look, we'll see how it looking about an hour's time. Straight. Alright family, so the um, turkey has been uh, pressuring for about an hour, you know. So, you know, we're kind of ready to kind of finish it up right now, right? So we kind of transfer everything into this big Dutch pot right here. And this is what we're looking at. See? Looking nice and thick. So what we're going to do to this now, we're going to add about half a cup of coconut milk. Normally when we have excess coconut milk, we use what we need and then we freeze the rest so we can have the rest left over for another time. So right now we have about half a cup right here frozen. We just all kind of add that in. Don't worry, once they start to uh, heat up, we'll you know, dissolve all the good things and so. Right, so that's in right now. I know we are going to put in some spinners, some little small dumpling that we call spinners in Jamaica. I will leave the link, uh, well I will leave the uh, recipe in the description to show you how to make this. And you can also check out my oxtail video to see exactly how I made this. Um, but you know, for right now, for the sake of time, I already roll it up. So now we will just put it in. Alright, so do I already made clean hands. And we'll kind of get it going. So we kind of stretch it out a little bit. Right now we have a stove pan medium. You know, just to kind of finish it up. And then also put some spinners inside. I have not added any more salt to the stew peas at this point. The amount of salt that was on the, uh, the smoked turkey was basically enough for right now so once I add this extra stuff in and let it bubble for a little bit since we added the, uh, the coconut milk we can kind of taste it in a little bit here alright so I'm going to go and roll up some of these spinners get them added in and then we can taste and see what else we need alright Check and see what I go on. Alright, so this is bubble for about another 3-4 minutes right now. Everything kind of incorporated itself in. See the type of thickness I look for? Not too thick, but still a little water, you see? It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect. So now we have it a little taste. And then we'll see what we have with the flavor. Alright, so everything good, 
Like I said, I'm add no more salt pretty much. The salt that was on the meat itself is perfect. I just add another, I add a, um, a teaspoon of the um, chicken bouillon. And that's pretty much it for the salt. You see me deal with it? And a perfect balance. So right now this pretty much almost done. We we'll make it steam a little bit more for probably about another four or five minutes to make it dumpling then finish cook, excuse me. And then we'll be good to go. So you can leave that on medium for another four or five minutes and then we'll be all set. Right? So I'm gonna show you how everything plated and look in a few minutes. Well this is the finishing product family. Stew pea is done, look a white rice on the side and now we're ready for dig in. You see this thing is like a one shot thing, you know, the pressure cooker pretty much the most of the work for you. So by the time you pull it from the pressure cooker, really nothing much more for the band than your little um you know little spinners and you know few little minor touches to finish it up. But you know, like me say, I didn't add any more salt. Really all I added was um, a teaspoon of uh, the chicken bouillon to kind of finish it, top it, top it off with the flavor, you understand? As far as salt is concerned. So, everything really nice. Everything, you know, based on when it tastes perfect. You know, if you don't you know, like the salt level, you can always kind of boil the, um, the turkey and neck a little bit before you, you, um, you start pressure it. Just boil it with a little water if you want to get off some of the salt. But for me, personally, the salt level is perfect for me. But modify as you, how you would like. You can even add a few little pieces of steak in this too. Or you know you can slice up some um, smoked sausage if you want to incorporate it in it. Just 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 make it your own, like I said. You know what I mean? So right now, enough talking. We're about to dig in and eat some food. So again, one tick of baby here from my home to yours. One love.